mental. Somebody say mental. Now, why mental? It is mental because man is a trapatite being. Three in one. Man has a spirit which handles the supernatural, the spiritual. That's why we started with the spiritual. And has a soul. The soul of a man comprises of his will, his emotion, the intellect. The soul is the seat of the mind. It is not visible. The mind is not the brain. The brain has a size. But the mind has no size. The mind is one of the greatest gifts God has given to man. That's why he said, let us make man in our own image. We are spirit beings. Let's give them our capacity. What makes us? The spiritual makes God. For God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John chapter 4, 24. Now, the man has a soul in him. Your capacity to live on earth as if challenges are not existing. Breaking territories. Taking territories, breaking grounds. Being supernaturally productive is tied to your mind. The moment a man's mind is tempered with, destiny has been tempered with. Destiny is altered. That's why they call them invalid. The invalid. They are not qualified to vote. They can't vote. Have you seen a madman being accredited? No. No. What makes the man mad is the mind. You can be spiritually sound, but mentally stupid. We have many sound believers spiritually, but the problem is the mind. They are not mentally sound. Now, what do I mean? You are fervent in prayers. You are a spiritual giant. You pray. You have prayer capacity. You live in a compound. And the compound, there are other people there. And you wake up at midnight. You begin to do your prayer. How do you pray? Jehovah is your name. Something is wrong with your mind. You are tampering with people's peace. People's rest. As long as that is not a church. As long as it's not your compound. You are not permitted to do that. You carry power packed, miracle walking anointing oil. You know that that's not your house. From the entrance of the compound, you begin to sprinkle it as if you are doing juju. How would they look at you? That same oil that you carried and you are pouring everywhere. When the mind is sound, wisdom will be at work. And all you do is just a drop. Just a drop. A drop. If you will have faith as small as a mustard seed. Mustard. 
since you people knew me even in my house ask them have they heard me pray do they hear my voice ask them even the staff but when i come out there must be manifestation so how does it happen hannah prayed nobody heard her only her lips moved and she was mistaken for drunkenness she said my lord thy handmaid is not drunk with wine i'm pouring my heart unto the lord so you can pray without being understood because when you give them you tell them your prayer point oh god this job i'm going tomorrow give me favor and one which is around the corner I say, uh -huh. so you have used your mouth stupidly to report yourself to them we've made those mistakes so there are certain things that shouldn't come out of your mouth you want to travel you post it on facebook you are at the airport you post it you snap you do selfie you snap put on you know how many people are after your life you carry your children's picture have you ever seen me post my children's picture despite my spiritual capacity the world is wicked i don't want to give them battles I don't want to fight battles that i'm not so even this one i'm still hiding them they are still coming after them anything good satan will come after it so you need wisdom the difference between jesus and john the baptist was what wisdom luke chapter 1 verse 80 and the child grew and worked strong in spirit grow grew physically that's the body now man is made up of three spirit soul and body now he was growing worked strong in spirit that spirituality had the capacity and was in the desert till the day of his showing forth you know why they killed him they killed him because he lacked wisdom he was spiritually sound but mentally stupid you go to office to work they paid you to walk it's not your break time you now brought out your bible and you started studying your bible and when your boss queries you you say he's a devil which devil you are the devil office time is not bible study time there's time for everything many believers have displayed foolishness without limits and some have made God look stupid. Will a normal person, in the name of assignment, you tell a woman to remove her clothes so that you bath her? That's why you tell them about Jesus Christ. They say, for what? They use wrong examples and be pursuing and accusing you also. You are doing fasting. Everyone knows that you are fasting. Even you, how many times have you noticed me fasting? The Bible says, when ye fast, when you fast, anoint yourself. Wash your face, anoint yourself. That's what I do from the mouth of Jesus. Matthew 6 16. Anoint yourself. Wash yourself. When ye fast, When you pray, go into your closet and pray. It is when we are praying generally like this that we now pray. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, so that everybody will know. For they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. For where? But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head wash thy face that's what i do how can you be fasting to a point you know that 
your body can no longer carry you to pray, to study the word. What does wisdom say? Take something. Take something for strength so that because the, the beauty of fasting is in prayer and study of the word. There are many pastors, many believers that have fasted and died because they wanted to see God. They fast until they fasted themselves into ulcer. I, I told us here, which day was that? That it happened to me out of stupidity. And you know that ignorance is not an excuse before the law. Fasted to a point. 15 days dry fasting. No water, no food. God is not as wicked as this. I showed us the different kinds of fast. Did I? You can deny yourself a meal. Eat in the morning. Eat in the afternoon. Deny yourself dinner. Till the following morning. But you take those times to pray. To study. That's fasting. You are not eating three square meal according to them. Because three is supposed to be triangular. But they say it's three square meal. I don't know where the square comes from. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be triangular you know the world has created a system that even the body of Christ is following the system somebody created Facebook the world is following Facebook including the church when there was no Facebook how were we existing today people are dying with phone phones have made people to be sacked from work a confidential secretary was given an urgent job. Type this. The business people are coming. She was on phone with her friend. <laughs> Ella, it is my boss that just came in. He gave me work to do. He said, I should finish it. Let's talk first. Those people arrived. He rushed to the secretary. Where is it? Where is it? She didn't type it. She was on call. Chatting with a friend. The man sacked him. I sacked her. Instant dismissal. The same person carried herself. Oh God, kill my boss. Can God answer such prayer? Is the most one of the most stupid prayer that can be prayed on earth. Believers play with the mind. They are not mentally sound. And the difference between an unbeliever and a believer is in the mind. Many are hard working, but they are not smart working. They work hard, but they don't work smart. If work, hard work pays, wheelbarrow pushers should have been the richest. But somebody sits with pen and paper. Listen, when you miss mental work, you begin to do many jobs. All this boy boy job is for people that don't have capacity to think properly. The moment you think well, you eat well. People, that's why they pay managers higher. They pay laborers lower. The difference is in the mind. If it is muscle that makes people rich, even Dangote cannot lift the own bag of cement that he is producing. So it's not in hard work, it's in smart work. <laughs> there, there are some things that happen. <laughs> I told Prof, I said, have you seen the power of mental work? That, this one is not spirituality. There are spiritual... No, no, no. See... By strength shall no man prevail. The Bible says wisdom is better than strength. If you know that your husband is a bully, when 
he gets angry. What does wisdom tell you as a wife? A wife that is smart, not stupid. You avoid him. But a foolish woman will say, what can you do? She will be the one to even come and talk. What, 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 what do you think you can do? And the man is boiling under that anointing. One slap like this, all the pancake, all of them, you see pancake falling down. <laughs> Weak, one corner. Eyelashes, one corner. Fingernails. In Judea. Hi. Pastor. Oh, what me? I can't am so. <laughs> we are talking about mental smartness. You knew that your husband was a lover boy. And you married him. You got married to him. And he has not left the lover boy's life. And now you knew it. But now you will stand to fight him. Who is that girl around you? That you even pursue him in the open. That's the foolishness of David's wife. Saul's daughter. Said to David, eh? Look at you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have gone to dance and open yourself to those girls. Because she knew that David had that weakness. When you are mentally smart, the weakness, the weakness of your partner will not be a public affair. Never publicize what is meant to be privatized. It's lack of wisdom. No wisdom. What are the functions of the mind? The basic functions of the mind. Number one, it is the center of reasoning. Ability to reason your way out of every hard situation. I've never been stranded. I will never be stranded. Why? Ability to reason my way in every situation. Is the center of reasoning. Is the center of thinking. Thinking. Your ability to think. Chapter 23 verse 7 Proverbs. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So you are a product of what you think. You only become what you have created in your mind. By reason of your thoughts pattern. They say, sow a thought, you reap an action. Sow an action, you reap a habit. Sow a habit, you reap a character. Sow a character, you reap a destiny. Listen, your character is the prophecy of your future. But the beginning of, the, of your character is tied to your thought pattern. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Three, it is the center of imagination. Center of imagination. Genesis chapter 11 verse 6. For what they have imagined, they can never be stopped. Listen, imagination is simply the ability to paint pictures. If I say Lagos now, you are in Lagos. Maybe you have never even been to Lagos. But there's, there's a picture you are picking in your mind. Is that correct? You are thinking about something. If I say roundabout now, roundabout, there's a picture playing in your mind right now. Abby? But you are not there. Listen, your imagination travels more than your physical body. Jeremiah, what seest thou? I see an almond tree. He said, thou hast seen well. The war that Jesus 
fought with the devil when he was fasting 40 days was about the mind. It was a mental warfare. Listen, mental warfare is stronger than spiritual warfare. Many people pray but they don't think. Even prayer must be meditated before you pray. You must picture the end from the beginning of your prayer. That when I pray this scripture, see the answer. But many don't do it. Many believers would rather die than think. Imagination is simply image formation. Your ability to picture your future so that you can future. What are you picturing? When you travel on the way, do you arrive there before you take off? So that for your safety. The moment I want to hit the road, I've already seen myself arrive there already. So I am carrying the picture of my arrival there. So accident is out of it. When Satan is coming to speak to me, are you sure you will arrive there? I say, look at the future, I've already arrived there. Listen, in the race of life, only your vote counts. Who is voting for, uh, against you is irrelevant. Just vote for yourself first and God will vote for you. God is waiting for your vote. What these people have imagined, what did they imagine? They imagined to build a tower that will get to heaven. What? The power of image formation. They say we want to build a tower to connect to God that will get to God. And God is saying that they can do it. Why did he say they can do it? Because they have his own mind capacity. They can produce what he produced. Listen, from the day God produced man, reproduced himself in man, God stopped every invention, stopped every production, and God rested. Why did he rest? Because he has handed over to man with the same capacity. That's why Adam, without entering the sea, the river, the streams, the lakes, he could name all the animals. Have you asked yourself how he named them? It was by image formation. Listen, when I want to prophesy, when I want miracles to happen, I sit down and I begin to watch video of miracles, of the prophetic. When I come out, I'm carrying that picture in my mind that that is what must happen. Nothing less. When I carry that picture, and enter the service something must happen why because you have also programmed god to align with it philemon 114 philemon has just one verse for without your mind i can do nothing god is stranded without your mind god is helpless without your mind until your mind says yes god can never say yes Many people picture calamity. I don't picture calamity. The mind has a photographic ability. Photographic ability. That's why they snap. That's the picture. The mind has it. It's from the mind. They, uh, how did they produce sheep? Noah never saw sheep before. God told him what to do. It was a mental warfare. Mental invention. Listen. If you are not sound in mind, you cannot be inventive. Every invention is a product of creative mind. What is your mind producing? Somebody woke up and called somebody and called something a goosey soup. Everybody's dying for a goosey soup. Which of the soup have you created? Somebody called it afang soup. Which one did you create? Another one, they discovered it to be hospital too far. That when you need blood, it boosts your blood. Somebody woke up and mixed something together and called it meat pie. And you are calling it meat pie. And you are eating meat pie, chicken pie. 
Shaw. Now, if you don't buy a girl shawama, she will hate you. What will you eat? Shawama. Even when she doesn't know how to produce it, uh, pronounce it properly. Shawama. But she doesn't know that is that shawama that is sapping the money is somebody creative strategy. The moment you become creative, you will be wealthy. Today they produce all kinds of clothes. Your dressing now was somebody's creativity. Some of the dressing, you saw it on picture, on what do you call it, social media. You now picked it and duplicated it. The mind is also the center of storage, storage center. The mind has capacity to store information. That's why I can come to you and ask you, uh, that thing we discussed yesterday, you say, sir, which of them? I said, the one concerning the service. Okay, sir, I remember. Even what you were told last year, there are certain things that are happening in your life that the past 20 years, you are still remembering it. Why? Because the mind has storage capacity. It stores. Now, what are you storing in your mind? What are you storing? Many people are storing junk. Junk. All you are thinking is evil. Sitting down thinking evil. How the other one will fall. You won't think how the other one will be made. Check what you are storing the mind is a bank bank of information because what the mind feeds on is information the food of the mind is what information the food the mind eats is information that's why jesus said take heed how ye hear because what you hear can change your thought pattern. That's why there are certain things you shouldn't allow to come to you. No. Those days, we used to sit where? On benches. From benches, it graduated to pews. From pews, they began to make those iron chair. We sit on them. From iron chair, it entered plastic. From plastic chair, is no more plastic. That's somebody's capacity to think. You see, the difference between the people that are making it and the people that are not making it is in the mind. If you are a pastor and you don't have a sound mind, you'll be fighting with people. No, no, no. It's the truth. If you are a business person and you... Listen. A pastor that is not mentally smart, they will sell him. Thieves come to church to worship. They come. Oh, you are not aware? That's why you see missing phones in church. That's why. No, no, no. That, thieves come to church. They steal phone. They steal offering. They duplicate offering envelopes. And when you are not mentally intelligent, you can't get them. That's why I read all manner. All manner. I, I read you. I'm a voracious reader. 
you should how will you know a thief if you have not studied a thief that's why when you hear me say a guy cannot guy a guy when a guy has been a guy is a weighty thing i know what i'm saying you are dealing with different kinds of people from different backgrounds if you are not mentally smart listen there are 419 that dupe pastors they dupe members we've experienced it here the moment somebody is close to you and they know that they come around to be very close to you the moment they are close to you, they begin to give you things give you money just to buy your heart so they can walk up to you and tell you uh, father sit down father said uh, he needs some money in fact he has a challenge he, he needs money now he said you must not tell anybody give it to me you carry the money you to lack of wisdom the moment you say no, let me call him and confirm no 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 you don't need to call. bring the money first then you can call him later you've given the money and he comes you gave five hundred thousand he comes uh, father I spoke to her that she's supposed to bless you. So she gave me 100,000 for you. Take. And you are rejoicing in stupidity. And you are smiling. God bless you. You are a good servant. We've seen all manner in Jojo. I followed a man politically. I saw some things in politics. I say, wow. These people sit down. 12 midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. That's when they are holding meeting. But believers are snoring. <laughs> Demonic sleep. Ah! We have different kinds of mind. Number one, we have the dull mind. Just like it is said dull, it is dull. It can capture some things very fast. It can take that person the next 10 years to learn the spelling of offering. The person's mind is dull. It's not sharpened. We have a reprobate mind also. A reprobate. That's a condemned mind. You find that in uh, think Romans 1 28. Say because I gave them a, a, a reprobate mind. Let them do whatsoever. A reprobate that a condemned mind and we have the blinded mind second corinthians chapter uh, i think uh, four verses three and four in whom the god of this world has blinded we have three kinds of eyes we have one the spiritual eyes two we have these physical eyes three we have the mental eyes the one that is called the dead mind dead we have the idle mind proverbs 19:15 the idle mind It is said that whatsoever you are hearing from me now, this teaching, whatsoever you hear, in 24 hours, you lose 25% of it. In 48 hours, you lose 50%. In 72 hours, you've lost 95% of what you have heard in one week. That's why they say the faintest pencil is better than what? The sharpest brain. So we have the idle mind. It doesn't do anything. And the idle mind is the devil's workshop. Anything can happen there. We have the carnal mind. Carnal is after the things of the world. Worldly lifestyle. But how do I transform my mind? The Bible speaking in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. 
be not conformed to this world, but be ye renewed. Renewed, 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 renewed. You renew your mind by the renewing of your mind. One of the minds we have is called the mind of Christ. It is the transformed mind. That is First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16. How do you transform the mind? How do you engage the mind to be sound? Because the Bible speaking, Timothy talking to uh, Paul, talking to Timothy. He said, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of what? A sound mind. It is a sound mind that produces a sound life. When your mind is sounding, your life will be sounding. We are talking about mental smartness. Listen. Can you see how the world is running faster than the church? The church is trying to catch up with the world. In invention. In creativity. In creativity. In mental capacity. The world, because it's God that created them. God is their creator, but it's not their father. It's when you become born again. So that is why you see unbelievers also succeed. Because they also carry the nature of God. But not the nature of Christ now. If you can't think well, you won't live well. But how do I think well? Number one. I want to believe that this one is for believers because you have the mind of Christ. But in case you are not born again, now you, it starts with salvation. You surrender to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But as many that has received him, to them gave he power to become what? The sons. When you have done that, number two, study. If you don't want to be stupid, study. Be an addicted learner. Be studious. Make yourself an ever learning person. Become a student. A wise man said, when you stop learning, you start dying. There are dead people. Have you ever seen somebody? That somebody start to just the next thing the person forgot himself or herself. Be a reader. How many books have you read this year? I've finished over 50 books. I'm not talking pamphlets. I've finished the Bible twice this year. I read all readables. You are meeting with people. When a stupid person talks within two minutes, you will know he's stupid. You know they hide, though. I read, though. All these James Hadley Chase, I read them. You know, you see, you know. When you study, listen. Read books. How can you be a politician? You don't know the history of politics. How politics started. Where it started from. You can't tell the greatest politician that had ever lived on earth. But politicians today, that's not their mind. That's why you see a senator cannot sing national anthem. There are many. What are you talking what are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. Senators, they don't know how to. Many of them don't know the call of constitution. That's why, sir, when you see somebody speaks very soundly in National Assembly, State Assembly, check their background. Some of them, they are lawyers. 
So when they are talking, they've understood the constitution. It's in their blood flowing. So when they are talking, you, when you are that's why you can be talking. Just one technical question they, that one asks you. All your feet, they are all wobbling. Many of them studied agriculture <laughs> and horticulture. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't know the color of constitution <laughs> I, I ask questions I study I read the constitution I have it on my phone I have the constitution of America in my phone That's why we have many people, National Assembly, they can't give one contribution. You can't trace one this thing to them. Those for ye, say ye, ye. Those for nay, nay, the ye have it. Boom. They don't understand the systems and the structures. They don't know why things are like this, why things are like this, why things are like this. They follow status quo. The normal thing. This is how my father did it, so my marriage must be like this. And the thing killed your father. And you too, you want to do the same thing. The thing that chased your mother, you too, you want to repeat the same foolishness. In your career, how many books have you read? If in your career you have not read the number of books of your age, you need repentance. When I make altar call, run out. <laughs> Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo said, he read over 200 books on church growth only. On church growth. He read over 400 books on finance before it broke forth in wealth. Broke forth in this thing. And you've just read one small book that you didn't finish chapter one on financial prosperity. You say, this God is very wicked. I've been giving. There's no money. In fact, I won't give again. You will give and die. No money. You will remain poor. Because you don't know what is called the, 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 the rules of money. Money has rules, has laws. You saw, you saw... 10,000. You said, if I was earning 100,000, I would have been able to save money. This one is 10,000. When problem comes, if you can't save with 10,000, from 10,000, you won't be able to save from 100,000. There are oil company workers that are poor. They are poorer than the poor. Even the poor cause them poor. Read though. Read books. What else must you do for mental transformation? Attend seminars for trainings. Go for trainings. All these half-baked people we are seeing today. You've not finished with your master. Just want this thing. You are manifesting. You said, I'm, I'm made. Maybe you are even able to just, you pour oil on uh, this thing and God help you. You pour oil on a, 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 on a, what do you call it, engine of a car. And you went and kicked it by mistake and it started by mistake. You say, why would my be eating a three, this thing, three pomo, three shaki with fish attached? Me too. You want to become oga overnight. You are a thief. God told me, I pastored in living faith for 12 years. God told me, an apprentice doesn't look for money from his master. He looks for knowledge. So I went after knowledge in living faith. If not for that knowledge, listen, I would have been very stupid in ministry. Stupidly stupid. I would have been flooring in errors. That's why you see all the floods coming. I'm able to wage them and see standing tall. 
Just one small headache. You can't come to church again. You know, church, you need to pray for me. In fact, as I came out, mm, and I mean now, nah, now. Nah. Kai, church, pray. You now transfer fear into the people. Even you, thou knowest that nothing moves this man. How many seminars have you attended? This year alone, I've done four trainings. Four trainings on Zoom. Church growth, church management, church security. God, there are thieves in church. Different areas. That's why I did accountancy. I said accountancy won't favor me. Let me move the one that will benefit me. My, this thing, I did management accounting. My PGD. My master's. I did MBA and did a MSc. PhD. I said I need to know how to handle resources. Human, material, financial. So I went for human resource management. I went again, leadership and governance. Chartered Institute of Leadership and Governance, USA. I'm also chartered, three certifications. I'm a fellow there too. It's only marketing that I'm associated uh, member. Wake up, oh. life is running very fast. When you have studied that one, what else? Develop strategic skills. Because certificate may not put food on your table. These days, certificate is no more putting food on people's table. It is skills. Skills makes you smart. Make you smart. Mentally sound. Develop skills. Sharpen your gifts. If you must be useful. I know one of my strengths is political prophecies. Is there anyone that has failed? The one of the present governor. Didn't I prophesy since? The one of uh, Tinubu. Didn't I say 2021? I said I'm seeing the same vehicle but a different driver. That was 2021. That come 2023. Develop skills properly. Sharpen your skills. When you sharpen your skills, it makes you mentally smart. Listen, some of the things doesn't come by prayers. It comes by meditation. How do you transform your mind? Meditation. Practice meditation. Study to be quiet. When I want to capture what's rev uh, the things happening around the world, I study the book of Revelation. I stay with it. Because he said, the things that are to come. Oh Lord, open my eyes to the things that are. Tell this one-on-one -on -one prophecy. This one. Mm -mm. Is the, when you sit with God and know his mind over the nation, that's where you are in prophetic. Anybody can prophesy to anybody. Even the four daughters of uh, Philip, they were prophesying. With precision. But it was their father with the mantle of the prophet. He told them, he said, death is coming. Famine is coming. After that, he said, the man that owns this girdle, if he goes to Jerusalem, this is how they will tie him. Didn't all of them happen? I want when I tell somebody, you are out of that seat. The person is out of that seat. spirituality mentality then prosperity when you carry this three you will be balanced spiritually sound if you are not spiritually sound listen they will clear you like this people are looking for appointment they are going to graves to go and sleep and you you will carry one leper anointing 
you go and confront somebody who is just coming out from Satan's kingdom. In fact, he just finished discussing with Satan. One fasting you cannot do. He said, you know, I have ulcer. In the morning, if I don't eat, oh, one of them, he would. <laughs> Are you blessed? Put your right hand on your forehead. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive the mind of Christ afresh. Today, I activate that mind into full manifestation for the fullness, fullness of God, of God in me, in me to manifest, to manifest in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, pray in tongues in the next one minute. Activate it. I'm brother, brother, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Listen, this mind doesn't make allow you to be stranded. It opens doors, heavy doors. I entered the same flight with Pa E.K. Clark. For the first time, I was seeing him one on one. I stood like this. I said, Lord, how do I connect to this man? He sat business class. I sat <laughs> economy. <laughs> because we studied economics in school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> immediately, while I sat I was meditating, deep meditation. How can this man escape me? Holy Spirit, what do I do? I placed my hand on my forehead. I prayed in the Holy Ghost. Meditation. In the midst of it, tell him this. Tell him this. So I went to him. I said, Daddy, my name is Michael, a record. I'm a living faith pastor. I pastored at uh, Ekreje Bogeli. Say, ah, how are you? God bless you, my son. Say, thank you, daddy. I love this dressing. I told him, oh, I love the dressing. Just like they can't reject me, visa. I saw a woman that was turning people off at Zimbabwe airport. No visa. Visa at arrival. <laughs> By mental capacity. When I got, it got to my tongue. <laughs> I looked at, the moment I got to, I said, ah, I love this combination, this dressings. Ma, do you have someone that dresses you or you? I carried her away. She smiled. <laughs> See, now mind though, now who no get sense, now I know the job. I said, this is befitting with your complexion. This is excellent. I believe you can do more of this. But it's just I don't have your currency. I would have also given you something to do more of this. It's fitted on you. Please maintain it. And you're as neat as anything. I, the, she carried the, How long do you want to stay? Uh. This one, you go there, you carry face like... Uh, 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 now, now sense though, now sense. I was coming from this Calabar road, taking a walk. I saw some boys, I knew they were bad boys, and I'm, I was about to be robbed. This is what I did. I changed my mood. This was 212. Ayaga, yaga, yaga, yo. Ayaga, yaga, yaga, yo. 
So as they were coming, immediately I said, who goes there? The moment he said, now who you be? I said, die it now. I had loosened my button to this point. So, they say, guy, now nah, we did road we did hustle. I said, now nah, hustle like we did too. <laughs> and I told them, I said, I hope say your two day intact. He said, ah, party and I That's how I escaped those boys. <laughs> This one, you are going. Blessed is the name of the Lord. We to be praised and adored. So we, they say, Ah, oh, yeah, Mary, Johnny just come. I come, Mary, I'm going to go to the house. Now, Senzo. Receive mental capacity. Amen. Receive mental soundness. Amen. Receive excellent spirits. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I receive. I receive. Excellent spirits. Excellent spirits. In the name of Jesus.